It's a challenge people the world over struggle with each day. What to do with all the trash we create? Well, I guess with soil, you don't have any trash. But recycling is one way of repurposing some of that garbage. And now there's a new concept that's gaining some popularity. It's called upcycling. CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi explains from the U.S. state of Colorado. In Denver, Colorado, they held an event recently to celebrate, are you ready for this? The pallet. The pallet is like the world's most mundane object. They may be mundane, but pallets are everywhere. So there's about four billion pallets in circulation. A couple billion, half of that, are unaccounted for. Pallet Fest organizer Kenny Fisher has studied these wooden platforms that move goods all around the world, nearly 200 million of which, he says, end up in U.S. landfills each year. He thinks pallets' value doesn't end there. Um, we're really here to promote what's possible when you look at waste with a different perspective. It's impossible to calculate just how much garbage the world produces each day. The challenge with all this waste, of course, is putting some of this stuff back to use. Recycling is one option. Upcycling, the reuse of objects or material to make products of higher quality, is another. Here at Pallet Fest, they use wooden planks as canvas. Strangely like, meditative. Pallets were turned into a maze, obstacle course, and mini playground. Jeremy Cox, who teaches woodworking, says upcycling takes recycling a step further. I'm a builder now, make furniture, and this is kind of a nice combination of the two, the two paths. And upcycling extends far beyond wood. Beth Massey, who wears a necklace made of bicycle tire, runs a sewing business that reuses fabric to make clothes and handbags. Yeah. A concert bag, we call them, concert bags. You Sterling your... Thunder creates art out of broken glass. Because we know America, my God, we're like one of the most wasteful countries. And so that makes us one of the most available countries to upcycle. You, know, you look at something laying on the street, and you're like, oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Fisher, who wears a tie made of computer circuit board, says he thinks of garbage often. And sort of the light bulb of creativity, the spark goes off. The next best thing to reducing waste, he says, is reusing it. He calls upcycling the next commercially viable green industry. It is a win-win no matter how you look at it. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.